Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Let's School. Well, last time all 15 of our students passed their exams, which was wonderful news. It was a bit of a surprise, I'll be honest, I thought maybe one or two might fail, but no, it was a 100% success rate, which is marvellous. So they're back in that classroom for a second term, but I think we can get another 15 students in. If we just copy that classroom setup from there and put it over here, we can get another 15 students. That's double the students we've got right now, and that will help us own more points to make the school better because last time as well we went from what's the first one a tutoring program school all the way through to a new school on the block and look at that we are 228 out of 800 points toward getting the next school upgrade as well which is very good and of course more students will help out with all that kind of stuff so I think yes we get another classroom set up over here the new term has yet to begin so if we do this now and get a load of new people in they've got an entire new term to do all the learning they need to do which would be very good so let's go and get that done right now I think that's got to be what we do so let's go to here and we shall go down to here and we'll get another classroom there we go the first one so just blop that into existence and then we'll put the door the door's going to go round here we'll put the door in that corner there and then we've got what's that that we've got now oh that's the blackboard so okay if we put that like that and then put the teacher podium thing like that and that means there's a gap down there for people to go and walk into the sort of, you know, get into their seats and such. And then we'll kind of just copy that thing over there. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then if we rotate it round a bit, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, if we were feeling a bit greedy, we could up that a bit because there is quite a lot of room in here not being used. There are another 10 spaces. We could drop another 10 seats in and get 25 students in each classroom. That might be quite a good idea. I don't know if the amount of students there are in a classroom affects the learning. I don't think it does. So it might make more sense to just put some more in. Do you know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to absolutely go for it. Can we do the same with that? I'm not quite sure because they're now in their second year. I don't quite know how that's going to work. So we'll see how that kind of how that muddles through with that one. I don't know if we can do it with that one, but there we go. We've done it with that one. And of course, some very important things. For example, lights. They might be quite helpful. So we'll put a light there and a light there and a light there and a light there. And we will have some windows as well because you know, that seems like quite a good thing. We'll have a large wooden window there and a large wooden window there. And there we go. A lovely, well-lit room. We, of course, do need a few of the bits and bobs. We, of course, need a lovely plant that can go right into that corner. And then we will have a bin as well. We'll have a bin that can go, that can go just there, actually. That can go just there. So if you're walking out the door, you can just pop your stuff in the bin. And then, can we go back to exclusive for this room? Because, of course, now we've got all sorts of extra bits and bobs. Oh, we've got to put these things in. I forgot about these. The humanities bookshelves and the trigonometry rulers and things. Um, but yeah, we've got the lunchbox holders. So we do want to get those in because they seem important. How about, can we put them behind the door? Um, yeah, the door looks like it's not going to open on them. So that should be fine. So if we put, say... I mean, that's 15. That's, uh, yeah, that's 15 of them. Uh, 20, 25. Do you know what? We'll put one for every student. That's fine. And then down in this corner, look, we can have these exciting new bits and bobs. So hang on, rotate that round. Uh, put the, what's that one? The humanities bookshelf in that corner. And then a trigonometry ruler can go just there. Okay, that's quite exciting. I like that. So that room is now looking pretty good. That room, I think, is now ready to go. So tick that. We've got, what, about 25 grand left. That's 25. Select year. Grade 1 or Grade 2. This is where it's going to get confusing because I think we start at Grade 1 with these. This is going to get complicated, isn't it? Okay, Grade 1 for that classroom. So that's a Grade 1 classroom. Oh, and they've got a little duck. So we've got the rabbit classroom and the duck classroom. I think as well, can we? Ah, yeah. Okay, so both classrooms are now in B house. Again, I'm still not entirely sure how this works. I'm a little bit baffled by this whole thing. Um, and yeah, I don't quite know why the research people are having a bit of a meltdown as well. Uh, right, so we need all sorts of stuff in here. We need teachers and we need actual students and such like. So let's get that classroom done first, I think. Have we got, now it's a new year, a load of new teachers? Have we got any decent teachers? Um, we've got... 
Uh, hang on. Which is the teaching proficiency. So 12. Carol Thornton. Oh, you're a sports teacher. Okay, what we need to do is we need to get the students in first, actually, don't we? We have to get the students in because they have their own kind of ambitions. So they're coming from Mudford. That's okay. That's fine. We're quite influential over in Mudford. Um, well, hang on. What is the influence? Our school has an 83% influence over the community in Mudford. Crikeys. Okay, so I think we get every single one of these in. Uh, some of them bring their own food from home. In fact, most of them do. A lot of them are forgetful. So they're going to struggle in humanities. So we need to make sure we have a good humanities person. Uh, okay, right. Admit all. So get all of you lot in. They're now all in, which is wonderful. And then we have to assign them to the classroom, I believe. Right, so we haven't got a teacher, but also we haven't got any students. So how about we assign, yes, yeah, select all. Oh, there we go. That's an easy way of doing it. So now all those nine people are going into that classroom, which is wonderful. However, we need a teacher. So what can we do with this? And so teacher recruitment. I mean, I am thinking we want either a science teacher or a humanities teacher. But you've only got teaching proficiency of nine, which is not the best. What does that do? Oh, reject. That's just an immediate reject away with you kind of thing. Um, they haven't got any... I'm, I'm looking again for somebody with the that qualification they need to run that office there. But nobody's coming through. Um, I think we get Michelle Clark, a science teacher, but they have got a better teaching proficiency. So yeah, one of the basic attributes of teachers, the higher the teaching proficiency, the faster the student's acquisition of knowledge points. That's to do with researching. So that makes them quicker at researching. That makes them quicker at doing management stuff. And that there, one of the basic attributes of teachers, the higher the training proficiency, the higher the ceiling for improvement in their other abilities. Oh, oh, so, okay, right. So that means Michelle Clark can only ever max out at 23 in her stats. That's the most she can ever do. Um, and Lee can get to 26. Stephen Dennis, 22. And Carol Thornton, 23. I think what we might do is, I think maybe we take Anne Lee on because she has got better potential. And then we can just send her away on a training course. I mean, it's very expensive, but I think it might be worth doing. So we will recruit Anne Lee. In you come, Anne Lee. This is going to be wonderful. Homeroom teacher, Anne Lee. Oh, yeah, we have got Laura Hall. Laura Hall. Laura Hall's good at admin, but she hasn't got that sort of training thing. Um, so, yeah, you come in, and then can we can we find you? So, Anne Lee, just there. Can we then? No free training slots available. Oh, because we did a training thing with you. Yeah, Oliver Curie is doing a training plan. So, Oliver Curie is doing some training to get his management up. Oh, I see. Right. Do you know, last time I was a bit confused about what that message was telling us. Now I've read those things and I understand. Okay, I think we've wasted a massive amount of time on him. I think that's a big waste of time because, yeah, if he's got... I can't point with the mouse, but if he's got a management of nine, but only a potential with those little glasses thing of seven, like a training potential, he can't ever increase. He can't get better. I wonder, can we just cancel that? It says plus five on there. Um, I think we cancel that. I think we get rid of that. Um, yeah, all progress would be lost, but it's taking a long time. It's taking a very long time, and I don't think it's actually going to make any difference at all. Now I think I understand how that works, because, yeah, he's only got, um, yes, indeed, the little kind of glasses training potential of seven. So he can only ever cap out after training at seven, even though his other skills are higher. Again, it's not entirely clear, but I think... I think maybe we... I think we just drop that. Do we just take somebody out of this position for now in that office and just wait for somebody to come in who's got the appropriate kind of qualification? Because, yeah, it's, it's that. It's the qualification thing they're after. It's that. Oh, it's gone away again. I can't mouse over. But it's the little sort of qualification. They've got like a management thing. So I think, do you know what? We might have wasted some money on that. But never mind. Right. Bail out of that. Away with that. And a new training plan... So teaching proficiency for uh, Anne Lee. So you go into there, teaching proficiency, 9 up to 14. And she can do that because she has a maximum sort of training potential of 26. Okay, I wonder how many people 
have since left comments on the previous video saying, oh, <laughs> you've done it wrong. You didn't do it right. You, this is how that works. Um, because, yeah, now I've just seen it. Now I've just seen it. The penny has just dropped. Okay, never mind. Right, so confirm that. That's going to be 598 monies. That seems much cheaper than... Much cheaper than the other training. But okay, right. So we'll have that, please. So she can go and do that. And that's not even going to take that long. Maybe because it's within her training potential, possibly. Okay, that's fine. I much prefer doing it that way. That's not too bad at all. I like their little kind of rubber ducky icon. That's quite fun. Um, and as well, I think... Oh, hang on, what's that? Course-related problems. No course assigned. Oh, oh, hang on, yes. Um, yeah, we've got to assign their things, haven't we? We have to assign their things. So um, they're not interested in art and they're not interested in sport. Away with art and sport. We're about science and, and the, the sort of humanities stuff. So um, yeah, all these people are aspiring to go to the Marina Heaven College of Marketing. That's absolutely fine. We can do that. So if we then just do... Uh, okay, let's do a humanities course. That didn't work at all. Drop that into there. Right, so a number of points go in. So Literature 101 and like that. And then Science and then Science. And then we'll split it up a bit. So we'll have Science and Science and then Humanities and then Humanities. So it's nice and even. So people are getting an even spread of the points. And then we'll have a very heavy Humanities Day. So we'll have three lots of Humanities. My goodness, and one lot of Science at the end. And then we'll switch you around. Three lots of Science. And then... Oh no, hang on. Three lots of science and then one lot of humanities. And then we'll mix it up with humanities and then science and then humanities. And then to finish the week off with a bit of science. Okie dokie. Right, so that is all in. So class 1-1, that's the first year class, have got that. Class 2-1 have got all that. So Betty Cupboard is helping out a bit. Do we need to get a new... Uh, Ms. Lin is doing that. Do we need to get a new person in who's really good at science? How do we have, like, d two teachers? How do we have two teachers teaching the same things? That's the homeroom teacher. But do we need to get a science teacher in to actually teach the science part to those guys? Because at the moment, yeah, it is, um, it's, it's Betty running in. How good is she at teaching science? I'm not entirely convinced she's that good at it, so I don't know. I don't fully understand how that bit works just yet. Again, the penny might drop at some point in the near future, and I'll go, oh, it's like that. But, uh, oh, I know what we need to hear, actually. Hang on a second. In the new classroom, we also need to get hygiene, a little kind of, you know, cleaning supplies thing. Um, put it on that wall. And there we go. People can clean up a bit. That's quite nice. We will put one... Um, hang on. That's going to be like... Yeah, we'll put one... I mean, over here, possibly. In fact, can we put one just there, look? Near the door to the staff room. And that means that people can go and clean the staff room. Which would make sense, wouldn't it? Do we need to put one outside to go and clean the food area? That might make sense. We'll tuck that round the side just there. So people can give that a little bit of a scrub if they want to. And of course, we've got our wonderful kind of outside path thingamajig. That's quite nice. Um, One thing. Ooh. Outdoor sink. Oh. Why don't we get a couple of them around here, look? That'd work, wouldn't it? An outdoor... Oh, it's like a... How does that work? The students can stand either side. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll put that at the end over here, look. Um, yeah. How about we put a couple of outdoor sinks at the end of the thing here? So just two like that. Yeah, I quite like that. That's quite good. And just to make that look a little bit more organised, we will just do that with that just to make it look like it's actually on a proper platform so yeah the students can now wash their hands out here which i think is actually quite nice that's quite a nice touch they can have their food wash their hands and then go back inside because you know being clean is important right and then one final thing we got from when we went up from level one to level two i think it was we got some sort of fancy kind of big statue things where are they ah what's that a lecture podium, a steam... Ah, we've got the steam review milestone. There, there we go. That's what I was looking at. So the humanity statue is 10,000 monies. Oh my goodness me. And the science statue is also 10,000 monies. So viewing this will cause a short-term intelligence increase. Viewing this will cause a short-term memory increase. Oh, 
So they look at the statues and there's an actual sort of proper in-game benefit for the students as well. So it gives us 50 lovely sort of, you know, prettification points, which is what we're all about. We want our school to look amazing. Um, is it worth getting one of these in? I think we get one of these things in. Maybe we could put it on either... Can we put it on either side of the door? We could put one there and one there. I think that'd be quite good. Um, hang on, can it go right next to the door? That's... What have I done now? I've I'm going to demolish my... I did that before, I think. I might have pressed the wrong button. Like that. Hang on. Does that mean that it's going to be sticking into the wall? Do we put it there? I think we'll try and put it... We'll put it there and see if it works. Okay. A lovely, fancy statue. 671 prettification points now, whatever they're called. I don't know. School building score or something. But it's essentially how pretty it all looks, which is lovely. And then what do we need for this? Contribution points. We'll get some of those from just sort of, you know, playing the game and the students learning stuff. Another three people means we can claim that little reward. We're working on getting the junior art course unlocked. So that'll happen. Educate graduates with one-star aspirations. Okay. Is that them lot in there? Is that you lot in there? Um, you're in year two. Do you have aspirations? Where is aspiration level? Sort by aspiration level. Where is the bit? Oh, there we go. Aspirations there. So you still all want to go to the Marina Heaven College of Marketing. I assume that's the only thing sort of around and about. Um, and then, yeah, look. They're going to have all passes again. They are going to have all passes once again. That's pretty good. I don't know if we can get many more people in there because we haven't got that many people coming in now. We've kind of got our intake and they've all gone in there. We'll try and keep moving people in. So the only thing I'm now a bit confused about is the researchy room. I'm a little bit confused about that unless we have got somebody who's really good at researching, but we haven't. I think we're on 69%. Okay, what we shall do is tick time on a bit. So welcome to, I mean, it's not, it's year one, but it's kind of what season, season two, term two. I'm not quite sure, but whatever the case, uh, oh, who are you? Who are you dashing around? Who exactly are you? Net ease, ooh, ooh. Okay, no club selected. We haven't unlocked clubs yet, I don't think. Are you a student? Oh yeah, I thought they were just here really early. Oh, I forgot we built an amazing kind of playground that nobody uses. That's wonderful. You're looking in at least. Uh, oh, you're Laura Hall, the humanities teacher that time forgot. Um, one semester down. Semester, that's the word I was thinking of. One semester down. Have you gotten used to being headmaster yet? The year one students will have all moved up to year two. Remember to build a new classroom for the new year one students. We've already done that. They can't be assigned to some classroom as a year two students after all. No, we get that. That's fine. Confirm. I'm with you on that one, Ms. Lee. One step ahead there. And in come the new students. Okay, some of them are coming in. Our money is going up because I think we do get some money per student, which is good. Oh, they're having a fun, exciting chat about clouds again. <laughs> More pancake clouds. Um, new students. I have a very. Oh, hang on. Communities will send in new student applications each week. The better your relationship with them, the more student applications you'll receive. Okay, so have we got some new applications already? No. Oh, another seven hours and we'll get some more people. Okay, that's absolutely fine. That's okay. Uh, right, new students over here. Uh, this is Smiley the Panda. Now, Smiley the Panda is lovely and you know, they're adorable. They're a panda. They give good hugs. They're very soft. They will, however, from time to time possibly sit on your desk and put their bottom in your face or something like that because yeah, they're on the desk and that's the way they sit in the desk so it might get a bit weird just roll with it okay roll with it and just sort of you know, look past them just put up with it eventually they will get up and go away it might possibly impact your learning a little bit but the teachers are aware of this and they'll kind of let you off i think but uh but yeah, there is Smiley the Panda about to sit on a desk, I imagine. Um, oh, okay. As summer arrives, the weather will turn hot and humid. Remember to have cooling facilities built. Keep up the good work in the next semester. Cooling facilities. Okay, hang on. Um, oh, yeah. It's 32.7 degrees C. That is quite toasty. That's quite toasty. Not enough women's room. Build facility to resolve. Women's room. Okay, it, we need a bigger toilet for the ladies? I mean, there's three in there now. 
I suppose in theory we could sort of build that back a bit. We could build that back and stretch those rooms out to fill the gap, possibly. Um, do you know that's what we'll do. We'll make the loos a bit longer and we'll put, what, two or three extra cubicles in? That should be okay. That'll be absolutely fine. We've got plenty of money. We could, actually, hang on, come out of that, um, go into knocking down mode, knock down all of these things. We don't need kind of weird fences over there. That's fine. Get rid of that. I think we now just build a big block like that. There we go. Three and a half thousand money. We've, we've got loads of money left. It's all going to be absolutely wonderful. So we'll get that done. And that allows to expand the loos a little bit. And then we've got more room up there to build in as well. We can put more classrooms in or whatever. Okay, so a little bit of a building project going on. Now, the only thing is, who is going to be teaching this class down here? Oh, yeah, the temperature. Hang on a minute. Um, where are things to do with the temperature? Wasn't there like a... Where is it? It was like a ice cube or something. Ah, uh, there. Temperature. Um, yes, that one there ice tray an icy cold solution to heat it can provide temporary cooling as it melts so do we just do we pop that into the classrooms is that is that what we do just pop two of those in i'm not quite sure how that works um can we see is that to do with temperature that's games uh, i don't yeah that's kind of like a view thing but i'm not entirely sure how helpful that is <laughs> um i think that's looking at people I think that's looking at sort of dirt gather. I don't know, ladies that need the loo, people that are gaming. Cleanliness, is that supposed to be soap? That might be a bar of soap. Uh, that's going to be boys that need the loo, some sort of furniture level or something. That's hungry people, that's thirsty people, I imagine. Okay, that's no use at all. I don't know how to assess the temperature of things. Do we find out in here? Environment, 26 degrees C, just there. But now is that going to come down because we put a big ice cube thing in it? So that room is... Well, that room's 33. A new semester has begun. How about a speech, Headmaster? Oh, I recall this from when we played the um, from when we played the demo. We got to do a little kind of speech type thing. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is very exciting. Hello, everybody. Uh, oh, okay. It says bad. Right. Uh, I don't know how we do this, but this is Betty. So there's Betty. Go on, Betty. You can deliver a speech. The audience now feels very calm. Okay, so we're up to 15 out of 100 speech points. No one seems that interested. Which would be the best opening to rouse interest? Friendly opening. Welcome back. Calm opening. Hello, everyone. Clear throat with a serious face. Uh -huh. Attention, everyone. No, friendly opening. This is a friendly, happy school. We want people to be happy here. So, um, yeah, welcome back to another promising semester. There you go. Betty's clapping her hands. Okay, that's good. The audience feels satisfied. That's pretty good. Talk about academics. Okay, that's all we have. Talk about study plans. Oh, the headmaster's right, I think they're saying. Talk about study plans after last exam's results were announced. Okay, I've got no other option. So, okay, let's talk about your studies. Okay, they're all like, sure thing. Uh, what would you like to say first about the exams? Praise the exam results from the last semester. Console those who didn't score well. And criticise those who did not meet expectations. Throw a tantrum. I like how you can do this. I do like how you can sort of play it your own way. You could be a sort of more strict, strict sort of a headmaster who sort of, you know, wants to be a bit more sort of uh, firm on the rules and the law breaking and is all about discipline. Or you could play it sort of down the middle. Or you could go like we're doing and be sort of lovely and happy because yay, it's school. Um, we're going to praise the exam results because they were completely fantastic. Everybody passed everything. I am very happy with how amazing everybody did. I think they said, but they're saying it very quickly. Uh, what do you want everyone to do next? Self-reflection. Uh, pay everyone reflects on their own behaviour. Chance to gain energetic or disappointed. Award bonus. Award select students with a scholarship to encourage everybody. Cost 1,000 monies, but everyone gains energised, or people gain energised. Forget failure. Just work harder next time. Remove some of the negative mood caused by failing in exams. Okay, well, nobody failed, so that doesn't matter. There's a chance there to gain energetic or disappointed. However, that one there, we could potentially spend 1,000 of our monies, which isn't that much at all, and people might get energised. Do you know what? Let's do that. Let's have the uh, the Betty Cupboard Scholarship Award. We will have that, thank you. The scholarship goes to... Don't know. A person. Somebody else. Okay, so 16 people got energetic. Oh, look, they're all... Oh, cracky, they're all on fire. <laughs> 
Okay, right. Betty, you set the students on fire. Bravo! Okay, uh, it's time to wrap up the speech. Heart gesture. Send your love to everyone in the hall. We're not in the hall, but okay. Loud cheer. Wrap up the speech with a heartfelt encouragement. Or end solemnly. We're going to do... it. This, is, this isn't this is Betty Boom. It's a bit harsh. This is Betty Cupboard. We're going to do a heart gesture. We're going to do a lovely heart gesture. There we go. Love you! <laughs> the audience is very satisfied. Okay, the lecture was good. Chance of audience receiving above high. And 16 people burst into flames of joy. Okay, yeah, confirm that. Congratulations on your first school-wide speech, Headmaster. Were you nervous? Betty Cooper doesn't get nervous. There are more topics for you to explore in the future. Here is a script I had drafted before about satisfaction. It might come in handy one day. Ah, okay, so maybe that now gives us options to talk about other things on natural future speeches. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. Um, so how are we looking? How are we looking? What are we on? So we're coming up to class meetup. Okay, so this is the initial... Yeah, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, the students do appear to be a place. What does that do? What does energetic do for us? So they've all got energetic. Oh, well, not all of them. The ones that appear to be on fire have. What does it do? What exactly is that thing? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Can we figure out what it does? Can we work out what the point of it is? Uh, how are we looking over here? So, Anne Lee is over here. This is good. So she hasn't increased her teaching proficiency yet. Oh, crikey's. Hang on. We've already got some people. Already, school's not even started and you're playing games. Um, Betty, Betty, get on it, please. Get all over that. They're playing games already. I work late into the night. Um, you should be going to bed early. The students can't tell if we just do the bare minimum, right? One, two, try. Okay. Please try harder. Try really hard to do some good results and things. So I think everybody is in pretty much. I think it's all looking pretty good. How long have I left? Six hours until that. Teacher recruit. Oh, hang on. That's going to refresh. Have we got some good researchers? Ah, hey, you. 15 research proficiency. Can we hire you to do the researching? Uh, needs more researchers or the construction of a research room. I think we get Billy Hall. Oh, hang on, though. Billy Hall's got the, the thing. Billy Hall's got the skill thingamajig he needs. Hang on, where are we? Billy Hall's got... Going to Billy Hall, where are we? Um, the He's got that. Rudimentary Management Certificate. So, okay, how good are you at management? 17. Okay, you're quite good at research, but also you're very good at managing. I think you can go and work in here. Let's get rid of you. So drop you out of there. Can we put um, Billy Hall in? So Billy Hall, who we just got, you can go into there. That's good. So director Billy Hall is now working in B House office. I don't quite know what that does still. And then down here in the research room, uh, we'll get rid of... You can drop out of that. Chief researcher can go back to being Oliver Curie. And then helping out can be down here, Joey Young, the science teacher. So you can go into there. There we go. That's better. So Joey Young had a management of three and you've got a management of nine. So I assume because he was bad at managing, he couldn't manage the workload that was going on. He was getting stressed out with all the things he had to do. Whereas uh, now we've got you back, Oliver Curie, you've got a management of nine. So you're a little bit better at dealing with the sort of, yeah, the managing of a department or a research room or whatever. Okay, that's fine. That room is a bit on fire. Hang on a second. We'll give you a big ice block thingamajig. I will pop it in the corner. There you go. That's all fine for you now. Um, is everybody else okay? I think some of the rooms might be quite warm, but the ones that need to be a bit cool are now a bit cool. Okay, right. That's not too shabby. Okay, so come out to that. What are we researching? Remind me. We are researching. Oh, the junior art thing. Yes, okay. And that's going to be good for our points up here. Okay, get time ticking on. Let's see. There's Smiley the Panda finding another desk to go and sit on, no doubt. Leave it, Smiley. Don't go and interrupt the researchers, please. Don't go and do that. How about one of these? Oh, you're having a little, a little bit of food and drink from the animal feeding bowl. That's quite nice. So how are we over here? So we're on. Yeah, they're actually learning. They're actually learning some stuff. Uh, over here, they're doing Literature 101, and in here, they're also doing Literature 101. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Fooling around, the novelty of being in a new school has worn off. The students are thinking of new ways to entertain themselves. Okay, is that good? The school cannot stay in this place forever if we want to continue growing. Research school reform to unlock dispatch map to gain access to more communities and encounter other schools. Yeah, okay, now I got that. So I think in terms of research, it's that one there, school reform. It's going to take a couple of days, but we are going to finish our other thing first. We're going to finish that thing first. So not even one day. That'll be done by the end of the day. And then we'll get our school reformed ever so slightly. So what does that mean exactly? Conduct a structural reform to unlock external dispatch, internal recommendation recruit, and new buildings. In the meantime, unlocks new research content, ushering the school into a new phase of development. Okay, very exciting. Uh, we'll get that done when we can. I'm still trying to work out what it means if they've got fire around them. Does it mean they learn quicker? Does it mean they pick up skills quicker? It doesn't, we've not really been told. <laughs> he went, yay, they're inspired. Okay, right, there you go, it's all good. Can we find out anything about it? I'm not entirely convinced. I don't know, discipline, management, cars, I don't know. I don't know if we can find out what that means. I'm sure it's going to be a good thing. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, you, uh, headmaster, it's boiling in here. I'm melting. Please build cooling furniture to resolve this issue. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, except I do apologise. Hang on a second. We need to go and put some ice blocks around the place. Uh, yeah, ice block. I feel much better now. I didn't do anything. I haven't done it yet. Uh, oh, we got three cartons of plum juice. Uh, is that for us? Like a headmaster gift. Because that's slightly odd, but right you are. Uh, we'll put a cooling block thing in there. And we'll put a cooling block thing... Uh, oh dear. Right, we'll put that by the window just there. In there. That should keep the temperature down. And that room needs one as well. We'll just put one next to the or next to the plant just there, why not? And the tea room might need one as well, actually. The tea room might need a cooling thingamajig. We'll put that uh, there to cool that down. And, okay, here we go. How much money have we got? Ten and a bit grand. Um, ice. Hey, Headmaster, I'm a farmer from a nearby village. The weather's getting really hot. I have a lot of ice back home. Take them for now. We don't want the kids to get heat stroke. Oh, thank you, farmer from a nearby village. Why have you got so much ice? <laughs> okay, so now he we've got some ice. Okay, well, I don't know what that's done. Has that just brought the temperature of the school down generally? I'm not quite sure. Um, right, so I think if we could now expand the loose a little bit. The only thing is I'm not quite sure how we do this. So edit. So can we make them a bit bigger? Not loads bigger, just a bit bigger. So if we say make it three, if make them four bigger, so 600 to expand that back a little bit, and then we can get, say, three more toilets. We might want to put an ice block thing in there, possibly. If we drag that back like that, okay, that's pretty good, and then we can put all these things in. So if we then, hang on, pick that up and move that, move that down to that end, move that down to that end, Pick that up, put that there. This is good. Then we get lights. I'm not going to forget about lights again. So we'll put another light. How far apart are those ones? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So right at the end. So drop that light in right at the end. Bit untidy looking, but it'll do. And then go back to that. So we can then have one, two, three more, three more toilets. And then we could have another sink. So another sink, so we double the amount of toilets, we can have one more sink, and then we can put the ice block thing up in that corner. I think that seems like a pretty good idea. So drop that in, and then turn with temperature, put that thing up in the corner, and then pick up the lovely plant, and just kind of move it next to the ice block. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, that's good. Down to 9,200 money. And we'll do the exact same thing again with the boys' toilet next door. There we go. Wonderful. Ready to go. Let's go and tick that. So we are down to 7,700 money now. However, adding all those things does give us more school building points, prettification points, because you know, we've added some lovely things. We've got some more stuff going on. So that is helping that total. I think whenever we do build some nice things, 
that is ticking up okay, which is not too bad. Right, I think. Let's get time moving on. Because they are taking a very long time to get this done. They're taking absolutely ages. However, look at that. People can now all go to the loo at the same time. It is wonderful. There you go, everybody. Look, we've helped you out with that there. Um, with the people that are sort of a bit on fire. But it's just a bit weird to see on the thing. But never mind. So I think their first lessons are done. So how did it go? How did it go? Can we see? Oh, hang on. You're... Oh, because... Oh, energetic. Right, can we see... Can we see what energetic does? Can we see what... This is energetic on there, but as soon as you move over, it goes away. Um, they're expected, I think... Are they expected to pass everything? Is that what that blue means? They're expected to completely, completely smash the humanities test. That's exciting. Okay, there's good potential there then for some really, really exciting good things going on. Right, that's very good. Uh, what else is going on? We really need that done. We need that done. How are we looking up here? Anything we can claim from this? Uh, no, we can get that done. A few contribution points would help out with that. Right. Okay, what we'll do is we shall move time on very, very quickly indeed. Uh, I find these ice block things really weird. <laughs> would you really do that? Just put some blocks of ice in. Oh, the weather's turned. It's a little bit soggy out there. Sorry, everybody. I don't have an umbrella. Have we got any covers? Can we uh, can we build any kind of cover things like that? Furniture. Can we build anything like that? Like little awnings or something? I don't think we can. Sorry, folks. <laughs> You're going to have to just be incredibly damp outside. I do apologise. It's not good enough. But I haven't unlocked the exciting new things yet. Maybe at some point... We might be able to unlock some sort of cover, but not right now. Uh, shabby fire alarm and simple firefighting equipment. I do feel like we should have some of that, but um, the game will tell us if there's a fire. It, oh, look! They're all gathering around the amazing statue. Look at the statue. Get better memories. The rain is getting heavier. I wonder if it will stop before school finishes. I wore rain boots. Wow, awesome. <laughs> You two are brilliant. Somebody there is having a lie down in the rain. Nancy Morgan doesn't care. Doesn't care she's lying on the grass in the rain, getting muddy. The rain is getting heavier. I wonder if it will stop before school finishes. I wore rain boots. Awesome. <laughs> okay, brilliant. This is wonderful. And Anne Lee's training course is complete. Okay, confirm that. That's good. So when she comes back in here after the lunch break... We just uh, get time tonking on a bit quicker. We should be able to see that her skill has gone up. In fact, we can look down here, can't we now? So, Anne Lee, you've now got, yeah, teacher proficiency of 14. And we could, in theory, send you again if we wanted to. We could get you to go again. Is it worth... Um, Joey Young. Oh, Joey Young hasn't got any potential at all. Oliver Curie's got no potential. Betty's got quite a lot of potential. Is it worth sending Betty on a course? Can we send you on a course, Betty? Because you kind of stand in. Look, you're standing in over here right now. So is it worth getting your teaching proficiency up a little bit? No point doing management because, yeah, you can only get to 35. So that's already maxed out. But yeah, teaching, you're a way off your maximum. Yeah, do you know what? 500 monies. Get that done, please. Uh, yeah, there we go. I can't believe I didn't understand that before. I can't believe that. I'm, so many people will have left comments because yeah, I'm recording these in relatively close succession to each other. So yeah, by the time those comments are made, the video will be you know, long published and this one will be ready to go as well. So I can't do anything about it, I'm afraid. But yeah, it's really obvious now I look at it. But when I was recording that second video, it just didn't make any sense at all. I just didn't understand it. But there we go. Right, so Betty can then go on a bit of a course. That's a good thing. And then if we could, after that send you, Billy Hall, on a course to get your management up because you can cap it out at 24. That's going to help you sort of uh, manage all the other classrooms a bit better. So I think it's yeah, something to do with that, isn't it? Management costs. So we've got, yeah, there's 10 management costs for that classroom and 10 for that classroom. And I think he is now managing... I don't really understand, but I think, yeah... So 20 out of 42 of the management points are being used. So 10 for that classroom, 10 for that classroom. So in theory, he could manage another two classrooms, and that would be fine. But a third extra one, so a fifth classroom in total, 
and that will be a little bit too much. That might be too much and you can't manage that. Okay, I think I understand that. I think I'm with you. Uh, we've got some troublemakers, reprimand you, Tyra Thornton, it's you again. And over here, uh, Ryan Griffin, reprimand you as well, please. There we go. I did my homework. Oh, good. That's good. Well, well done you. Good job. Very nice. I still think it's weird that we put the food outside. <laughs> what if it is, for example, raining like right now? The kids just go and get soaking wet. It's very odd. Um, how about the uniform? I'm not that bothered about the uniform, but everyone seems to be just wearing whatever they like. Uh, oh, you can change. Hang on. We can now change. That's the preset. We can pick a shirt. Oh, we can sort of have a little individual bits. So we can change it around. Um, yeah, I quite like that. So confirm that. And then pan, well, that's going to be the same, hang on, like that, look. That's a pair of slacks or whatever. Shoes, love those ones. Yeah. Hat. <gasps> what? No, game. <laughs> no accessories unlocked. Okay, right, we're going to have to try and go and get hats. That's the most important thing for us to do right now. Um, yeah, you can all have these things on. There you go, it's fine. Confirm edits. Um... But yeah, some people aren't wearing the uniform. I'm not that bothered. Finally, we've learned the junior art course. Okay, so continue research. We will now unlock the secrets of school reform. So yeah, that gives us all sorts of extra bits and bobs. So some new furniture and staircases. That's going to be quite big because as well as building out, we can then begin to build up, which is very important. So that's going to be quite good to get that done. That is going to take quite a long time, but... We can claim nine more little kind of whatever they are school score points because we've done that. So we can get, yeah, it's a handful more. But that's better than nothing. Um, school reform one will give us 15 of those. So not too many, but that's okay. And oh no, we need more researchers or the construction of a research room. Why? Why is that? <laughs> I don't understand. Management cost 10. Oh, hang on. Is it worth... Where's the management thing? Is it worth bringing that under control of B House? Would that help? Is that going to help them manage? So that's 10, 20, 30. So they should... Oh, hang on. We've got some more things up there. I don't understand that. Need more researchers. I don't get why we need more researchers. The research room is level 2. It's 115% efficient. Um... I mean, we could always go and grab another researcher. We could always go and find somebody that's good at the research. Um, Frank Parker, 12 research proficiency. Could get up to 25 if we train them up. Um, yep, nice moustache. Maybe we go for you. Let's go for you. Frank Parker. Yeah, you've got 12. Yeah, so you've got the best potential. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's recruit Frank Parker. Because we have got room for another thing in here. We've got room for another person, I believe. So, uh, yeah, Frank, in you go. Wonderful. Um, the research room is now under stress. Okay. But we have changed that around a bit. Right, Betty's training course is complete. That's good. Well done. Happy about that. Um, yeah, hang on. So that's now on 11. Okay. So hang on, let me try and work this out. It's overloaded. So management proficiency is nine. Chief researcher is nine. So together there are... Oh no, hang on. So management proficiency is nine, which comes from the chief researcher. But there are two other researchers in there, which are using up 10 management points, which means that it's overloaded by one point. But then it's got 10 out of nine, then 11 at the top. <laughs> So, facility 5, overloaded is plus 1. Oh, because it's overloaded, it adds an extra management point on. So, could our chief researcher be trained to be a bit better? Who is our chief researcher? Remind me. We've got quite a lot of people around now. Uh, it is you, isn't it? It's Oliver. Um, no. No, they couldn't be trained to be any better. But... Could we, hang on a second, could we train up, fr hang on, hang on, drop you out, drop you out, put Frank in charge, because Frank is better at managing, 
And then in researchers, put Oliver Curie, that might well have sorted that out. So hang on, now go back into here. That room has now got Chief Researcher plus 14, because they're better at management, minus 10 for the researchers. So they're on, yeah, sort of they've got four points spare before it becomes too busy. And um, yeah, it generates just 10 normal points. Right. I think I'm sort of understanding that. It's a bit of a weird way around of doing it, but I think I'm sort of understanding it. So there we go. Right, that's okay. And the headmaster's office is doing okay. It's doing okay. It's not overloaded. It's all fine. So yeah, they can accommodate sort of, yeah, certain amounts of things. So we could potentially actually take them back out of there. The headmaster's office could manage them again. Because, yeah, that's not reparted. That's more for classrooms is the way I saw it. Okie dokie. Right, that's good. The, the panda on the desk isn't so good. <laughs> Sorry about that. That happens. That just, it ha it's an occupational hazard of working around here. It's all fine. Oh, hang on. Yet yeah, we got that. So 1,200 money. That's not to be sniffed at. And another 75 of those thingamajigs. That is brilliant. And we can't be too far away from getting some more students. Okay, yeah, there's more students. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Okay, do you know what? They've missed kind of most of the day, unfortunately, but we'll get them in anyway. So admit them into here. Right, how do we do this again? That's that. We want them into here. Um, how did we do this before? Uh, where is it? Stats, there's nine people. It's nine people. We did this relatively easily before, but now I can't recall how we did it because I can't see the same kind of buttons and things everywhere. Uh, was it down here somewhere? There was another way we did it, but it was a bit of a faff before. So all the people not assigned to a class. Um, and yeah, there is a button there. So last time, I think in the first video, was it, I was pressing that button and moving each person individually. I didn't see that button there. So there is a kind of an overall assign button. So go to duck class. Okay, do it that way then. So now... Is that class a bit overloaded? Oh, right. Is that slightly too many people? Um, yeah. Okay, so maybe our person here needs to go and do a bit of a management course. Okay, right. That is something that we can arrange. That's fine. We can do that. So let's go to um, whoever it is. Laura Hall, isn't it? I think it's you, isn't it? Is that her in there? Is it Laura Hall? I can't remember. Uh, no, Anne Lee. So Anne Lee, just there, please. Um, I'll do my best. But yeah, we could do with training you up a little bit. So train you up in management. That might help out quite a bit. So four hours, six minutes. That'll be done at some point tomorrow. So confirm that. At the moment, that classroom is going to be a bit overloaded. It's going to be a bit sort of heavy on the numbers because um, there's quite a lot of people in there now. We've got how many students have we got? Uh, oh, Headmaster, the weather is warming up and the bugs are chirping. I remember all the bugs I caught as a child. Okay. <laughs> oh, we've been given a bug net. Right, you now have bug nets at the school store. If you don't have a school store yet, you can unlock it through research. A school store. Okay, that does ring a vague bell from when we played the demo, but I'm not quite sure why. Uh, 16 out of 25 class members. Uh, I mean, it's only one more than that, but hang on. What is Ms. Lynn's management? Ms. Lynn's management is 18, whereas the management for, for Anne Lee is 6. Okay, right, so she needs to be better at management. Hopefully this course will help sort that out. That'll be wonderful if we could do that. Um, yeah, so if we got... Are these, what does the plum juice do? Like, do we drink that? I'm going to drink some plum juice. Use plum juice. Oh, it goes on the students. Does it? Okay, we're not going to use it now then. We're not going to use it now. Uh, let's get time ticking on a bit quicker, actually. So if we got, yeah, is that the after school? So yeah, it's the end of the day, of course. It is very much the end of the day. So I think what we'll do is we'll get to tomorrow and then we'll see what happens with plum juice. I don't know what happens with plum juice. What what goes on with that? I don't know. Look at the research team, though. They're doing a grand job over here of doing all the clever researchy stuff. Well done, research squad. Very impressive. Um, yeah, we'll get to the end of this. Yeah, that department, that room's a bit under pressure. That's fine. Right, so yeah, get through to the end of the day. 
Then it'll fly through the night time. Smiley the panda can go wherever they like. And uh, yeah, Barbara the cat as well. And um, Muffin the cat, wasn't it? Was it Muffin? I think it might have been Muffin the cat. Um, so yeah, there we go. Right, so now again, just move time on nice and quick. I'd like the classes to all begin. And then, oh, oh, that money coming in. That's very good. We're back over 10 grand. Hooray. So we're going to wait until the first lesson is underway. And then we're going to go and, I don't know, drop some prune juice on people. I don't really understand what that's supposed to do. Uh, oh, training course for Anne Lee complete. Confirm. Pause time. How is that now looking? It's now under control. It's on 16 out of 16. So she can't cope with any more kids in there. But that's okay. I think for now, that will have to do. Okay, so it took a while for me to kind of understand that gaming mechanic there of management points and it's linked to your management skill but now I do sort of understand it I think did we kind of skip past the tutorial or did not kind of trigger or something I don't remember the game explaining that to us but I think I've kind of you know, muddled through and I've kind of got it now which is good um so go down to here plum juice very thirst quenching or video game console so yeah it does say use doesn't it use video game console but that doesn't do anything. But plum juice brings up a little kind of circle. Very thirst quenching. Uh, I'm just going to drop it there. Does that just mean that everybody there now doesn't need a drink? Is that what that means? <laughs> this is very strange. Um, okay. Where's their... Yeah, that's their thirst thing. So maybe it's fine? I don't know. I don't know. But there we go. They're doing some good learning again. They're doing some good learning. Uh, Ms. Lynn has obtained her intermediate... Humanities Certificate? Oh, okay. What does that mean? Uh, Betty's got... Oh, hang on a minute. We're picking up certificates. Oh, Betty is super rich. Oh, Betty's family is super rich. la -de -da. Um, Yeah, we've got a Rudimentary Science Certificate and we're going for Intermediate Science Certificate. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, look. People are picking up the Management Certificates. They're kind of doing learning as they go. Service Certificate. Because you're the one working outside over here providing food to people. Oh. Oh, this is quite good. So people are going about the place doing their own kind of learning. That is wonderful. Right. Good. I wonder what the intermediate management thing does. Management proficiency up by seven. Oh, that's going to be really helpful if people can get that. Hang on a minute. You lot are being a bit of a pain in the bottoms. Uh, yeah, just, just reprimand you. Don't punish you. Just give you a stern ticking off. That's fine. Five student applications. I'm not entirely sure we can take them on. Um, I mean, can we put them? Can we put them into that room? If we build some more tables in there, can we put them directly into that year group? Or is that not how that works? I don't really understand how that's going to work because they're in grade two, and we can't just drop them right into grade two, can we? Because that's not going to work. I think there is room for them. There's definitely room to have more students in there in terms of management capacity. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that would work. Can we drop them in? Are we allowed to look at that? No, they're all grade one, look. That's grade one, I think. Okay, we can't admit any more in right now. That's just not going to fly. It's not going to work. How about... Is that you? Anne Lee? Uh, hang on a minute. I get very confused. We've got many teachers going on. Hang on. Who's the one that we hired that's now just wandering about? Um, Laura Hall. Yeah, Laura Hall can't even be trained up in anything. Laura Hall only has a learning uh, option of two, which isn't very good. Laura Hall, we might either have to put you to work somewhere else around the around the school if we find a job or possibly let you go. I don't really want to dismiss you, though, Laura Hall. You have been, yeah, you've come into work every day dutifully doing some stuff. Um, yeah, where can we assign you? Can, do we need to assign you to a particular thing? Uh, I mean, you're not good at research. You are good at management. So you could do something manage -y, possibly. Um, and your teaching is okay, but you can't get better because you've only got that teaching proficiency of two, which is a bit rubbish. Um, okay, do you know what? For now... You can 
just sort of hang around for a bit. We'll find a job for you at some point, I'm sure. You can have a job at some point. And we'll find a thing for you to do to occupy your time. I just don't know what that thing is right now. Okay, time is flying by, but look at that just there. That's very encouraging indeed. That's showing us how near we are to actually passing the exam. So that red line there is showing the target we need for everybody to pass our exams. And look at that, it's almost, what, two thirds of the way up? And we're only at the end of day two. So that's pretty good. And we've just completed that very important bit of research. Okay, so we've now got school reform one underway. So close that. I imagine that's going to trigger lots of bits and bobs happening. Right, hang on, pause time for a second because there is a thing there as well. What can we get? Right, admissions number. That's a bit of money and also some more of these kind of point thingamajigs. We shall have that, thank you. And we'll have another 15 because we selected a research topic. Don't quite know what that means, but okay. Oh, we have to just pick another research topic. Oh, okay, that seems quite simple. Um, there you go. You can now establish relations with other schools. Check it out in the dispatch map. Where is the dispatch map? Oh, down there. Oh, right, okay, right. We're back in tutorial land. Okay, this is the dispatch map. Right, you are. There is a vast world outside of school. I refuse to believe it. You can use field trips to take students and teachers off campus to scout a particular location. You may discover new locations, regions, stores, or events. Okay, that sounds fun. During a field trip, you might encounter a variety of challenging events. You must utilize the power of the group to solve the problem. Field trips can impart the same knowledge as classroom instruction. There is no need to worry about their falling behind. Okay, that's what I was thinking of, but no, if it can do the same thing, that's quite good. Venturing out into the world will help you maintain a novel attitude. Okay, that sounds quite fun. Let's scout out the nearest location. So that is our school. What's that? The Old South Training Academy. Go to the well-known Old Southern Training Institution for a period of training and you can spend money to improve the teacher's training proficiency. Oh, so that's where we send the teachers away. Uh, let's go to that nice region there then. Let's have a look around there. Set the class to be dispatched. I think we'll send... Yeah, seeing as you're telling us how to do this, Ms. Lynn, I think we should send you out. So there you go, Ms. Lynn. You can go out. So dispatch you lot away. So there you go. <laughs> dispatch team, move out. Okay, so we can then see them getting... Do we actually see them come out of that for a second? So they are actually heading out. Do they go on foot? Do they get the bus? I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, so yeah, right, they're going... I don't know which direction they're going. They've both gone in two completely different directions, and there's no bus. Okay, hopefully they'll make it, but they are still learning. Yay for science. And on the map, we can see how far they've got. Look, they're about, what, a quarter of the way, possibly? Maybe not even that, 20% of the way through the journey? That's quite fun. That's an exciting thing. So that classroom now completely empty. Betty is just kind of standing there. I don't know, furs. Who are you talking to, Betty? Oh, the cat. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, oh no, the cat's even had enough. <laughs> there you go, look, Muffin got bored. Betty... There's nobody here. Betty, j j go and have a lie down, Betty. I mean, go and have a nice cup of tea. There's a tea room over there. Go and have some tea, please. Um, and we aren't researching anything, which is a bit silly. So we might as well do some sort of researchy stuff. Um, I mean, junior sports course. What's that going to do? Do we need to get anything particular? No. Okay. I think we don't get that right now. Management, campus security, staff training room. That could be quite good. Bicycle shed. A parking space for bicycles. Okay, is that good? Do people want to come in on a bike? Superior teaching increases the classroom star level more easily. It unlocks a KPI module. Ah, the modules are the things that we applied via the management room. Or advanced research increases the research room star level more easily. Okay, and then in lifestyle, we've got cafeteria. There we go. I think maybe a cafeteria, but a school store. It sells various snacks, school supplies, and toys. So it's going to sell baguettes, skipping ropes, and spicy snacks. Very nice. Temperature and lights. Okay, so do you know what? We might need that before winter, because I notice in there there is a coal burner. Maybe that might be quite helpful in the winter. Um, hygiene products, that allows a cleaning up course. And it's got hand dryers and cleaning rosters and things. Oh, and it's got proper actual nice 
toilets, because I think our toilets at the minute are a little bit kind of unpleasant, uh, improve relations, improve relationships between students. Oh, that's quite nice. Unlocks furniture, peace symbol, hopscotch, promotional poster, love mailbox, and a normal bench. I don't know what a love mailbox is, but I think we should get one. We're going to re research that thing, because that sounds amazing. Uh, oh, hang on, you're being a bit of a nuisance. Reprimand you, please. Stop being a wally. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get them to their destination, shall we? Let's make sure they get to where they're supposed to go, because it's going to take a while for them to get out there. I mean, really, we sent them out at the end of the day. <laughs> We shouldn't have possibly sent them out at the end of the day, but there you go, never mind. Um, and we need more researchers. Do we? Do we need more researchers? The research room's fine, isn't it? Or is that thing just particularly tricky? I think it's okay. Stop complaining about the amount of researchers game. It's all fine. It's a level two room. It's not too shabby. We're going to struggle to get any more kind of stuff in there. We are going to struggle. So, um, yeah, it's fine. I'm not so bothered about that. That's okay. Oh, hang on. Something happened to the dispatch team. On the way to the destination, Ms. Lynn spots a mysterious puddle of water. Okay. Uh, I mean, analyze the puddle. Use sciences to solve. Success rate 95%. For the sciences proficiency, Ms. Lynn could determine the situation with the puddle and successfully gets through the area unscathed. I mean, j just step over it or go round it. <laughs> okay, fine. Right, well done, I suppose, Ms. Lynn. Good job, maybe. Uh, right, okay, let's just let time tick on. Everything else is kind of happening around the school. It's all fine. We've got one out of 31. So already, at eight o'clock in the morning of the third day, one student is expected to pass their exams. And they've still got three full days of learning left. There's so all that, all that, and all that to go. That's wonderful. That's very good news. And now it's up to two. This is brilliant. I think they're going to be fine. Up to six. I found contraband in a student's inventory just now. Contraband will cause students to turn delinquent. There might even be some we've missed. Let's search through the student inventories. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're carrying around coffee with them. Uh, we've got frog. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, you know, chewing gum or something. Um, but but no, frogs. Okay, right. Frogs. We found two frogs. Let's search for the students' inventories. I don't know how. How? How do you do that game? Don't just drop this stuff on me. Um, okay, a mystical magician. A few students notice a crowd of people standing around a strange-looking old man by the road. He is doing a weird ritual to a rich man. Next to him, there is a sign that reads Mystical Magician Exorcisms of All Types. The students are interested and walk over to check it out. Yeah, and I'm, I'm intrigued. So, as an 80% chance of success that we get some science boost. Might sap our energy a bit, but that's okay. The students get on stage to find an old man performing an exorcism on a rich man. With a drop of water and flickering lights as the old man chants, colourful ripples appear in the water. The students whisper to each other, was well, this not just a chemistry experiment? It seems that the rich man has been scammed. Of course he has, because there was an exorcism happening, and that's all a bit of twiddly nonsense. Um, okay. Uh, the students realise the superstitious rich man has fallen for a scam. Should they tell him? I, yeah, I think so. I think we should do that. That's the right thing to do. So, yeah, hello, rich man, you've been conned a bit there. Seeing that the rich man is already pulling out a huge wad of cash, our brave students promptly expose the scammer. The rich man is so thankful that he instantly makes a donation to the school. The crowd praises the students for their sciences, knowledge, and their honesty as well. That's very good. We got some money. Okay, new location scouted. Everyone is so full of energy that they scout the area around the school before returning. We've now familiarised ourselves with the area around us. Okay, they've all come back. This is wonderful. Buff gained science point contribution. Got some money. And we got five science points, which is good. Okay. Um, unlocked a new location on the map. Go and take a look. We're here right now. New community discovered on the dispatch map. We can build an admissions office there. Oh, we did this before. We did that before. Do you want us to build an admissions office there? Or are I just saying that we can do that? Because there's a bit of a difference. Right, can... Oh, hang on a minute. Reprimand. Oh, everyone's being very cheeky today. Right, you lot. Behave. And reprimand everybody. Um, okay. Let's wait until they get home. So where are... Oh, hang on. I think some of them are in. 
that person is particularly quick. Right, there we go. So class 2-1 are back. They're back home. Well, back at school. So that's good. So they're just kind of kicking around. Where's Ms. Lynn? Ms. Lynn, you're supposed to be teaching over here. <laughs> um, I mean, she is just the homeroom teacher. Does she do the next bit of teaching? I don't fully understand that. Oh, hang on. What's going on there? Um, a student brought a frog into school. Uh, hang on a minute. Um, uh, Anne Lee? No, not Anne Lee. Who's the one who doesn't do it? Laura Hall. Laura Hall, you can be administrative. Uh, you can be not administrative. You can be sort of... Uh, uh, sort of uh, discipline supervisor. There we go. Well done. You've helped out. Okay, now the students are back from their little trip out. I think we will wrap things up for now. I think that's a pretty good point to leave it for now. But things are going very well. I mean, that's really encouraging. That's very good. 11 out of our 31 students are expected to pass their exams already. And it's only what? Not even lunchtime on day three. We're not even fully halfway through the week. And already 11 out of 31 students are expected to pass. What's that going to be like at the end of the week? That's going to be fantastic. I'm expecting everybody to pass and then maybe some people to just, you know, completely smash it out of the park and do really well and possibly get full marks in everything. That would be quite good. How are we looking over there? Yep, so that's going to tick up. That we might struggle with. And we will get that done. So we're making slow but steady progress on our kind of school score. We haven't done too much in terms of that, in terms of our kind of school building prettification score type thing. We'll try and get some more lovely things in. Maybe when that research is done, we could put some more things around because that had some nice things, didn't it? That had all sorts of fun bits and bobs. Had sort of peace symbols and posters and love mailboxes and things. So we'll put those around. And that might make that creep up a bit. But yeah, it's looking good. It's looking very, very good so far. I'm happy that the new class is in. And there are a few more of them, which is good. Because of course, you know, more students is more points and more learning and more money and everything else. So it's looking really good. It's looking good. Just a quick check. Yeah, there's Smiley the Panda <laughs> on another desk. You know, as is the way of things, because that is how it works around here now. So I think, yeah, we'll come back next time. Maybe we'll try to get through to the end of this sort of semester. I keep saying year, but it's this semester. And we'll see how everyone does. And then depending on what research comes along, we'll just carry on doing what we've been doing. Maybe we'll kind of get that bit sorted. But yeah, I think as well, we can possibly look at building upwards. We could possibly think about building up as well as across. Because yeah, look, there is a little bit over here with a load of junk in it. So we could possibly build from that point. That could be our kind of starting point to build on this floor and then get a whole load of new things. But Joe, that requires money and everything else. So yeah, we'll just kind of get through the next semester and then we'll see where we go from there. But yes, it's all looking very good. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's coming down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going on? <laughs>